Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Nathan. Uh, I want to say good morning, everybody. I should be used to the West Coast. If you guys are, hope you guys are enjoying your weekend so far. I know I am. And uh, for this video, as you as you guys know, as always, is another Beware the Batman episode review, uh, episode number number six, called Tox, uh, Toxic by uh, Kurt Geda, and directed by uh, Aaron Mayer and Catherine Randall. For August 17, 2013, and let's get right into it. So, for this episode, we have in the beginning we have this uh, man, this woman, and they're you know they're at um, uh, Simon Stagg's company. Uh, you know they're, they're kissing each other, telling how much they love each other, and you know the man is a security guard for that for uh, Simon uh, Stagg's uh, uh, company, and. The woman is actually, her name is Sapphire. She's the daughter of Simon Stagg. So the two of them are together, and, you know, um, and the and guy's name is Rex, Rex Mason. And, you know, Rex tells her, like, I don't know who should be doing this. And Sapphire's like, you know, like, I really don't care about that and all that stuff. So they continue to kiss and all until um, uh, Rex sees that someone has broken into uh, Mr. Stagg's company. So, you know, he tells Sapphire to. Uh, stay, stay back, stay here, so that, you know she won't get hurt. And Rex goes after the person who uh, who broke into the company, and you know they go on this wild goose chase, which leads to um, this special room where um, you know a special room where it has like a project or something going on, and um, you know once the person who broke into the SAS company gets in there. Um, you know, he basically traps Rex inside the project, and he puts all these type of buttons, and you see these, like, small, different, type of, different types of chemicals, um, you know, just um, surrounding him, and Rex gets sick, and he is in pain, and, um, you know, and uh, Batman arrives on the scene, but, you know, he's too late to save Rex because he's already sick, and, you know, Rex goes to the hospital, and um, you see Sapphire and uh, Simon Stagg, he's there as well. And you know, Re and when they're talking and all, and Rex gets up and goes to the bathroom, and you know, Simon talks to his daughter and tells Sapphire and tells her that he's concerned and worried because the project that he was doing that had the the toxic chemicals weren't were not done on human form. So he's concerned and worried about it. And then suddenly, you know, back in the bathroom, uh, Rex. It's not feeling so good. He feels weird, and then he looks down his hands. It's like, it's like silver, and all, and he starts to transform into this like, it's like monster, uh, better known as Metamorpho. And uh, for me, I don't know that much about the character, the uh, Metamorpho. I do hear that he was on the Outsiders at one point in the uh, pre, in DC during DC during the uh, pre fifty two. For the movie too, so, um, so yeah, it's basically meta uh, metamorpho uh, happened, and he, um, when he starts to attacking uh, people of Gotham, and Batman, uh, you know, try to stop him, and he does, but you know, metamorpho gets away, and Batman can see that uh, Rex Mason is metamorpho, and. Um, Basic and basically, um, during this episode, we get to see Batman do his uh, detective work and figure out how did how did how did all this really happen? And um, and uh, pretty much he finds out that um, Simon Stack was first responsible for causing Rex Mason to transform into Metamorpho because. Simon Stagg really did not want his daughter to be with Rex, which to me is, is, is just wrong. You know, I just, I, you know, I mean, if I was in Simon Stagg's shoes, I wouldn't have done that at all. But he did that anyway, and, you know, um, to me, um, Rex Mason is more and really connected to Sapphire because, you know, he's still Rex Mason's son, he still loves Sapphire, he still cares about her. And um, very deeply, and um, you know, um, um, 
you know, Batman reveals to Sapphire and tells her about what happened. And you know, at first, Sapphire blames Batman for killing, but then she blames her father and she runs away. And um, now, um, and now, you know, um, we all know that Metamorpho is not dead because in the end, at the end of this episode, we get to see Metamorpho uh, in the sewer or something. I'm thinking this sewer and like his hand comes up. So that proves that he's, he's still alive, he's still out there. And um, so pretty much um, that was the first plot of the episode. Then, the, the, then this came the second plot, which wasn't that much. But uh, we had um, um, we had this um, it was the psychiatrist in episode 2 called Secrets that Bruce Wayne met the two of them, you know, meet up and they have dinner together, and you know, Bruce has, has to take a phone call. And um, what happens is that once Bruce leaves to take the phone call, um, he's a psychiatrist, and I can't remember her name. She um, takes uh, takes a phone call, but sends a, a text message saying, uh, "Bruce Wayne, hook line center." I think that's what it said on there. So. To me, I think that it could lead to something else. It could lead to maybe, you know, maybe she is, the psychiatrist is under the skies. And maybe that's, maybe that's Lady Sheba, you know, trying to, you know, bring in Bruce and, you know, bait him in to maybe join the League of Shadows. Or maybe not, maybe something else. Maybe it's leading to a different type of villain that we'll see down the line. But, you know, all in all, guys, I enjoyed this episode. It's very good. Um, to me, so far, I think we were the Batman. Uh, the sixth episode in is good. I mean, there are some parts here and there that need some fixing, some improvement. But you know, I think that'll be, I think that'll be done along the way. And uh, tell me in the comments below, guys, what did you guys think of this episode? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Are you in the middle? Are you neutral on it? I uh, think you like when you like this video, subscribe button, subscribe to my channel. This is Nathan saying. Peace. Take care, guys. Uh, enjoy the rest of your weekend. And I'm out. Bye.